Hey guys, before you check out this video, I just want to give you guys a quick disclaimer. Um, the audio isn't really good in some parts of the video. The lighting isn't the greatest either. Um, you may have to go up and down on the volume depending on where you're at in the video and what's going on. Um, there's a lot of background noise. There's people talking. I couldn't really control the environment. So I just want to give you that quick disclaimer. I'm still posting it just because I think it's going to help people. And I don't want you guys waiting for me to do this again um, in order to get the, the video. So I still went with it. Okay, just check it out. If you have questions, again, as always, leave them in the comments below. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Victor here with Celebrated Victories. And if you watched my last video, I told you guys on how I was actually gonna be taking out an ATM from a barbershop that was underperforming and moving it. Okay, so I'm on my way to go do that and I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. I'm gonna show you the tools that you're gonna need. The ATM is actually bolted. One thing I need to do though, I need to stop at Lowe's and get a socket wrench. The reason why I need a socket wrench is because in my last install, I think, it, yeah, my last install when I was actually bolting the ATM down, I was use, I was having my kids do it, my sons, and um, they were actually, and I told them to, it was a mess up on me, um, I was telling them to just bang down because we forgot our hammer, like a, a mallet, so if you want to use a mallet, like a rubber mallet is perfect, um, that's or a hammer could work too, but we didn't have our rubber mallet at that time, so what we did, we were using the actual socket wrench to hammer down the anchor into the ground, and when it did that, it busted the actual um, socket wrench. So I'm gonna go run to Lowe's real quick just to go in there, slide in there, pick it up. What is this guy doing? And um, pick it up and then move out and go, you know, go go show you guys what this looks like. Okay, if you haven't checked out my video on how to actually bolt an ATM, be sure to check that out right here. Okay, it seems like it helps a lot of people. It could definitely help you if you haven't checked that out. So y'all stay tuned. couldn't get off the exit to hit up Lowe's so what I did is right now I'm actually at AutoZone Let's see. hopefully I can find this socket wrench so what I'm gonna do oh here we go this is it all right you guys check this out Let's see this So I made a rookie mistake. I'm out here trying to go get this ATM. And I talked to the owner about um, potentially moving it. I already did that already. And I actually, I recorded that. So I'm gonna try to put that in this video as well. That way you can check it out. Hey, how are you? How are you? I'm doing well. How's it been though? Yeah, is it not, is, cause it seems like it's not doing too many transactions. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gotta look at it. Um, cause if it's cause it's kind of seems kind of slow. Yeah. Cause the last time I came, it was like a while ago, right? Mm -hmm. When I first came. Um. So I just got we'll give it like a little bit more time, see how it is. But if it doesn't, you know, do too well, then I'm probably gonna have to take it out. Cause I gotta if I pay him more for like the service, the yeah. internet and all that, and I'm not, you know, I just gotta move it. Oh, okay. But I'll let yeah. you know. But I made a rookie mistake. I came over here to get the ATM out, you know, and um, take it with me. And it's closed. It's closed. So I gotta come tomorrow or another time. Yeah. Rookie mistake. So lesson learned here. You know, contact them. Know the hours. And I do know the hours. I just didn't even think twice about it. You know, because I in my. If you guys checked out that video about Trello, how I track my ATMs, you can check that out over here. Um, I put the hours in there. You know, uh, for each each business, each ATM that I'm using. So yeah, man, sucks, but it is what it is. Part of the grind, part of the hustle. You make mistakes, you learn from them, you get better, and we move forward. So I still make things happen. That's what we do. But on a positive note, because everything's about positivity, right? Look at the, the good things, right? Um, as I was driving over here, I hit traffic, and I'm like, oh man, this sucks. I was hitting traffic, but I was able to turn around or get off a, a, a earlier exit and avoid the traffic. And when I did that, it brought me to a, a street that I normally don't take. And it was like a hidden hidden area. And it was a laundromat. And so you know me, I stopped, pull over, go in there, talk to the to the lady that's working there. Okay, and it looks like a really promising laundromat. 
but the owner wasn't there and she won't be for a uh for a little bit of time they said she won't be around for about a week or so so i'm gonna um check up and follow up with them when i get the opportunity to and um there's no atm in there very promising quarters only you know it's the coin machine so you can throw ten dollar bills in that have it with through and um yeah so hopefully that pulls together okay so we gotta stay positive Juan, what's going on, man? How are you? Good, yeah. Doing well. Good to see you. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come take it out. Okay. You know, I'm gonna put it in another spot just because you know it wasn't really performing and we're kind of spending more money just putting with the internet and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but I appreciate the opportunity for sure. You know, or maybe down the road if you know it kind of starts picking up like a lot, you know, um, you can let me know. We'll you know, try to figure something out as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, man. So it, it shouldn't take too long, you know, be grab it in and out. And then with the bolts, I'll take those out too and I'll shave them down as well. Okay. Okay. Any questions? No, no, no. All right. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. I'm take everything that I got in here out. You guys want? I'm going to have to make it Makes it a little bit lighter if you take out the set. Okay. You don't need to. In this case, I'm not. I'm going to leave it in there. It usually stays pretty stale. Uh, let's plug the system. And you want to take out your receipt paper as well. Here, you just got to flip this down. You need to take out your receipt paper. You want to flip that green thing down. Pull it out. There you go. Alright, make sure you gotta put this somewhere where you don't lose it because these things get lost really easily. Unplugged it, all you gotta do is just ratchet it out. All I'm doing is just taking the nuts off. Now that I got those off, now I gotta lift the ATM. ATM up. And just move it. And I'm gonna lock this and close it as I do it. Just so it's not bouncing all over the place. Just gotta shake it a little bit. Sometimes you could just kind of get them right into the floor. Sometimes they won't. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you know, kind of chop it down with this. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what that looks like. So this is called the Bosch GWS 1045P. And I'll put a link in the description. So that way, if you guys want to look into getting it, um, you can get it off of Amazon or wherever. Um, but it's really, really good to have. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to do is just set it up. I'm gonna take this. And depending on what hand you are, so I'm lucky. So I'm gonna put it on this side. Screw it up. Okay. And then another thing that I need to get. And I always. Oh, actually, keep recording this one. Hey, Daniel. Hey, it's going, how you doing? I, I should be there in like, uh, probably like 30, 40 minutes. Okay. 
Today? Okay, I I'll be there. Yep. Alright. Later. Yep. Later. Alright, so that's cool. So that is that's my plan for 12 for the laundry mat. Um, they just had to push it a little bit to two instead of twelve. Um, I told them we can make it happen, so that should be a good look. Okay, hopefully we get this bad boy in there. Um, but going back to what we're discussing, I've done this quite a few times, but I always refer back to the instruction manual. And on this page number 14, when you get it in the box, uh, I have the I already have the guard, the safeguard on here. So once I have the safeguard, I'm actually going to put this piece first. You see that? Okay, so this piece is gonna go up just like that. Okay, and it should like kind of flush in. All right, once you get it flushed in, then you're gonna add the second piece. And this is gonna be so separate, so you have to buy this too. This is gonna be the whatever you cut the metal with. Um, and this is four, uh, four and a half by 0 0.045 by seven eighths. Okay, so. Yeah, I can take, I'll try to put this stuff in the description. That way you have you guys have prime time access to it. I'm gonna put this down on top. Okay. With the writing facing pretty much the top. Okay, I'm putting it upside down, that way you guys it's easier to put it on for me. Um we'll get that part in. And then we're gonna put this on. Alright, and then this is gonna go like this. Okay, and you just screw it. All right, and then when you screw it, you want to lock it. So it's gonna come with this little tool right here. You just put that bad boy in right there. Okay. What I do is just try to like just tighten it as much as you can. Uh, before you start plugging stuff in, make sure all this stuff is secure. All right, because this could be a deadly weapon. You put this in the wrong person's hands and use it the wrong way. I'm not about to lose a finger. Okay. I should have some eye pro on deck, but unfortunately, I don't have it. Are you bring it back? Yeah. So I think it's another thing. Yeah, it's the, another one. So it's in, the, yeah. it's in the box where I keep the actual uh, hammer drill at, but it should ideally. You want to have eye? Do you have any energy? Anything? So I got these. Got me some Ray Bans. They were sitting in the car, so I'm gonna use these instead. But if you get some safety glasses, those are ideal. Of course, I left mine um, in the box where I keep my hammer drill. So I'm gonna rock with these. All right, so I'm gonna plug it in. I got everything configured. Okay, everything's good. All right, and how it's used is gonna hold this button down, and actually to activate it, you have to pull this. And then it's gonna you're gonna hold it down, and when you hold it down, this is gonna start spinning, and that's what you're gonna use to grind it, okay? And whenever you just let go, it turns off automatically, so it's pretty safe. All right, so plug it in. Make sure my hands ain't you know touching the thing as I'm trying to plug it in. I'm gonna hold the flip down. And you're gonna play the rock. This stuff is scary, especially the first time to do it. Scary stuff. I gotta lose the lose the limbs. All right, y'all, so here, I try to get them as flush as I could to the floor. Okay, that way they can put stuff over it. People aren't going to trip over it. It doesn't look crazy. All right, um, just try your best, and then I just sweep the stuff up. Okay, and um, that's pretty much it. Pretty easy. Now you pretty much reverse everything. But to take this off, it's going to continuously spin, and if it's continuously spinning, you're not going to be able to unlock it or um, take this part off. So what I do is I just hold it down. There we go. All right, so you have to move it around a little bit to get it locked and that's fine. But then, to take it off, you just go reverse. 
Okay. So remove it again because I have this in the way. Let's try that again. So hold it down. Find where it's locked. Alright, there we go. And then you know, and then just it. Thank you, baby boy. Put the garbage right there, the black one. Alright, and I'll put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Take my handle off. This two. And I'm good to go. A few things I want to take note of when y'all doing this. Just be careful, like yeah. wires and stuff. All right. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to like, cut them. Uh, I always try to put them up. And sometimes, you know, if you, if you just can't, as long as you're not too close to them, you guys will be fine. And don't touch the uh, whatever you do. Don't touch the floor when you're done. And don't touch the little residue that's like the top of the anchor or whatever when it's completely cut off because they're real, real hot and you'll burn yourself. Hold up, hold up, hold up, real quick before you guys go. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so by hitting this button right here. And if you want to check out some more of my content, be sure to click right here. Talk to y'all later.